Hey everyone, before we actually get into the gameplay, let's go over a bit of history. Now we're getting to a more modern time period. We're not quite there yet, but let's talk about one of the primary triggers for Robert's Rebellion, and that would be Lyanna Stark. Lyanna had three siblings in the Stark family. That would be her younger brother Benjamin Stark and her two older brothers Eddard and Brandon Stark. Brandon being the eldest child and the heir of Winterfell. Brandon and Lyanna were described as being wolf-blooded. They were very courageous and very hot-tempered, whereas you would have Ned, who was very reserved in comparison. It was also said that Lyanna was very beautiful too. Then you would have their father, Rickard, who would promise her hand in marriage to Robert Baratheon, which she wasn't very happy about. She wasn't really convinced that he would be a very faithful husband, and well, you know how his marriage with Cersei went, so that was probably true. And there's a few things that, that goes on later on that we'll talk about. Here's John Umber. We're bringing him over to Hammerhorn. I had my little fleet come down. I had to pass a few turns. I didn't want to show you just me passing turns, so I did it on my own. But we're now in Iron Islands. I'm going to let good old John Umber do his thing. And over here, I have my armies moving up to go kill you know who. Ramsey Snow. I'll be getting him. Okay, my armies are moving up. Here's Rob. Might move you up, Roderick. We can move you way up here. If I take them all out at the same time, then we don't have to worry about them. I know, but look, I don't always want to play by the rules and be punished for it. These guys are traitorous and I don't trust them and I feel like they should be gone. I'm not going to let them linger in the lands like a malignant tumor. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to get rid of them. Got a few men over there. There's the Bolton Capital. House Martell. So we're getting closer now. There's a good old Rob. Here's a Dreadford. We'll probably attack an Iron Islands before we're able to do anything else. Here's my fleet all combined. They've got who? Good old good brother. I doubt he has a good brother. I don't trust that. We could just wait there and wait them out. Let them come out to fight me. That would be an easier way to complete the war without losing a lot of men. Then, after that, we'll probably get ready to fight in the Westerlands and defeat them. Oh no, he's dead. The Lord Paramount of the Trident. It's really unfortunate. Suitable prince, I don't like his face. Wow, 10,000. But that would let my soldiers just be quite good. Relations improved, new mission, end of the mission report. House Tolly is now gone. Whoa. Who's now the leader? That's what I'm worried about. Do they own their towns at all now? Oh no. The Frey capital allies, right? The Tollies are just gone. Alright. Well, Sansa, you're gonna wait over there. She's very good at what she does. Charming console, all of that. I'm trying to make more money, and I will eventually make more money. I'm trying to get every army to where they need to go. I don't want to begin the war while I'm in their land, so it'll put angry with me. He's back. He knows what's going on. He knows it's time. It's a time of reckoning, and it is at hand. Can't believe they didn't have more children in that family. They must have lost a lot. I'm imagining. Whoa, it's a major army. Yeah, I'm going to wait then. We're going to wait that out, because I'll need to go fight some in the field. I've got other forces to fight, too. And I can't easily give him help. Not yet. I could recruit him. Actually, my navy could ferry guys back and forth. That is true. Okay, Reed. We're going to let Reed just retrain constantly. Until he's ready to go fight. Okay. A Witten phrase up here. I'll have to get rid of the rebels. I really hate how many rebel armies pop up and bother you. Bleh. Bye, I say. I don't really have any men over here to help me out. Let's temporarily recruit a few guys to help out. The cost of men is quite minimal, which allows you to fill massive armies. I'm not against it at all. But yeah, later we'll be talking about Rhaegar. For now, we're going to focus on the game. Baratin is losing people due to a plague. That's unfortunate. Alliance announced. The Boltons and the Tyrells are... Oh, no, really? The Boltons and the Tyrells, huh? You're on. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. 
Well, I'm letting you know. You obviously care not how you treat us. He's allied to Rinley and Frey. And Tyrell. We hope for more fruitful Wow, that could be a huge issue. We're not allied anymore. I probably should have focused on the Boltons first, but I figured that I could have handled the two of them, the lot of them. I can recruit more men down here. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get ready now. I don't think they're going to easily get up here, but I do have to watch out. I'm going to leave you there, old man. That's your job for today. So now we wait for a moment. I like the little naval fleet. Again, we're going to take out the Ironborn. We're going to take out the Boltons. We're going to destroy them all simultaneously. We'll get rid of all of them. I could try to get a PC with the Lannisters, but they're avoiding Pink Maiden. I don't know why they're just avoiding it. They don't want to lose a lot of men. I mean, no matter what they did, they would lose a lot of men. Unless they had a lot of artillery, then maybe they could sideswipe that and not lose a lot of men. Still Barrington. End of the turn report. Recruitment report again. What, good relations? Why? I am a warrior. Not he says I want that. For the honor of Scotland, there we must by the mountain. Might 16 men gone. They took it. Stark and Frey were no longer allied. Renly and Stark. House Stark is now fighting. Okay. Let's go look at diplomacy real quick. So we're fighting Greyjoy, Lannister, Joffrey, and Stannis. And House Bolton. Going to Carhold. We want them dead. Now, Rob is moving. We'll go take care of the Dreadfort once and for all. I'll make sure they're all dead. Let's go over here and retrain even more men. We're gonna get another army ready, and they'll go after the Freys. I will take the twins. The twins will be mine. I will destroy the Greyjoys. The Greyjoys will be mine. The men of the North will reign supreme today. After I take their lands, we'll not have to worry about issues from behind anymore. Two more turns for that castle. I really don't mind waiting out castles at all, especially when you can have multiple armies. Aaron and Joffrey are now fighting. Good. That'll keep them busy. I need the Vel to stay on my side. Let's go look real quick. Here's my agent, Santa Stark. I could go down and try to treaty with the Reach again. That's my idea of a decent time, I think. The Tollies. I just want to go find out if they're really gone. Yeah, I think they're just completely gone. There's Asha Greyjoy. If I could get her to marry Rob, that could be the other option. I actually like her. I thought she'd look a little bit different. I don't really think they chose an actress that I thought would be indicative of that type of character. But I do like her. Here's Roderick. Let's go to Carhold now. Eight turns for that. Arnulf Karstark. Ooh, a Karstark. Look at who's here. We might just fight them outside, depending on how many men they have in the castle, in the Dreadfort. Let's go look at the Dreadfort. That's a full army. Wow, that's a lot of knights, too. It's going to be a very bloody fight. I could bring in two armies if I really wanted to take them down. It's another Bolton army. I have to go fight them. There's a lot of rebel armies that I need to go take care of. I'm going to have Reed take care of them. I'm going to take a few more crossbows. There we are. Three more. Two more turns down here. But a big enough fleet to kind of drive them back. That's kind of funny. We're not really meant to fight on sea, but we are going to do it anyway. Let's get it. There's Baron. One more turn for that. And the turn report. That's a huge army. I could fight the main army in the field. Got a little bit of artillery that can help out. So you're fighting over there. We've got some more Boltons here just kind of wandering around. I don't have a lot of time to haggle, you're right. We're going to retrain that group too. Let's go look at what we can build. More farms everywhere. That's what we're doing. Wherever we go, we're going to build more farms. Godswood. Garrison quarters. Neat. Communal farming. And over here, more communal farming. Yeah, just everywhere needs a farm. We're going to work on our infrastructure up north. 
Should make things right. And now we're going to fight a huge battle. 408 men will be coming. We're the crossbow men, faction leader. Where's your father at? Disloyal. Lacks justice. It's a lot of dread. Effective ambusher. That's unfortunate. All right. And then over here we've got many knights. Let's go. My son is fighting a war, not playing at one. I don't think you need to tell him that. Oh, Marjorie. A lot of people find her very attractive. Not really my thing. Now, Melisandre. Hey, I'm all about that. All about that. All right, so they'll be coming towards me, I'm sure. We'll move up to army real quick. What's back here? Mandalay Swordsman, right. Got some good old swordsmen that can help me out. They'll move over here. You'll be over here. The knights will be wherever I want them to be. I've got a lot of knights, by the way. That's a combined force of Manderly Knights, Stark Knights, Northern Knights. Let's go look at them real quick. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Here's my Stark Knights. I like how their faces look in here a lot more than like in, let's say, Attila. Attila faces are really weird. They all are cloned, sure, but man, they are just funny looking. Okay. Artillery. Are you that far back? That's funny. I know your lord would be here. Got a few range units. I don't have a lot of them, but I've got a few. Hold on, let's just kind of reform my forces too. Kind of have to. I want all the cheap infantry to be on the front lines. My swordsmen, not so much. Yeah. Cheap infantry on the front lines. That's how I like to do it. I'm going to keep it a little bit like that. Swordsmen, we're going to move two of you on the right flank. Three of you on the left flank. Doesn't need to be overly complicated. All of my knights will move over here now. We could even go behind and go try to kill the Boltons. Ooh, that was a good hit. Very exciting. Everyone run into position right now. Come on. Here they come. A lot of crossbow men. Guys. Just begin to attack. That's all you need to do. Let's get them. Okay, now they're going to begin attacking. Hopefully. I want to run my knights in there, but anyway. Maybe some grape shot will do it. That'd be nice if we could hit them with some grape shot. They are returning fire. Here comes some Bolton knights. Heavy spearmen. A lot of those are coming. I'll move these guys up whenever I have to. For now, we're going to kill the northern crossbowmen. I know I hate spilling northern blood, but these guys are a little bit different. They're kind of a seed that was turned in a negative way. There's some more Bolton calves, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit, just get an eye on what they're doing. That must be you-know-who. Oh, crap. We're going to lose a lot of guys in just a moment. And here they go. That's a nasty one. Let's move back. Let's move back. You two move back. Dear God. Car Stark Knights are charging in too. Let's go kill them. The They're trapped here now. We're trying to kill these knights and then we'll take care of more of them. Oh my god! Those shots were beautiful. Those were wonderful shots. Let's go over here and kill these other knights. I actually don't mind that they're hitting various points of my knighthood. It just gives me a chance to get everyone together and to kill their knights first. You move over here. You move over here. They're charging at me. I'm going to surround them. That might be a car Stark. I'm, or actually, no, it's not a car Stark. My bad. It's going to be Bolton. Ramsey Snow. I don't know where he's at. I probably should have gone to look for him, but let's kill him now. Let's get him right now. That daring fool. Spearman, go get them. 
That was quick. Swordsman will go after their swordsman. Look at Marty's car starting knights right now. We'll go kill more and more of his soldiers. My bowman will shoot these knights over here. These Bolton knights. He's being hit over here. Oh, you are? Right. Let's move you back. Swordsman, let's get you in. That cav. It's a lot of Bolton heavy spearmen. Let's move. We need to move away quickly. Try to kill these guys. I've got some swordsmen coming to fight them. Here's where it gets nasty. I'll have to be more prepared in the future. I didn't think he'd be so aggressive. I mean, he's actually playing much like a Bolton would. That's what I get for underestimating him. Let's go over here now. We'll try to kill more of the crossbows while we're here. You'll get them too. Stark swordsman. Kill whoever you need to. All right. Let's get everyone over here. I'm going to go after all their crossbows and everyone else too. I'm going to send some knights to go right into their formation. You know what? Yeah, do a wedge. We're going to charge right into them from behind. There you go. Those bowmen are now running. Wonderful. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Let's go through these Bolton swordsmen. There's some more spearmen going in. Get some more swordsmen to kill. Okay, knights, here we go. Those guys are broken. They're only swordsmen as well. Let's get everyone else into battle. All of you can stop attacking. It's over. My Mandalay Knights are moving in. I love all my different house knights. I don't know why. It just feels interesting. I like it a lot. Even if the names are just different alone. Just makes it feel different. A little bit of variation like that. Even if they are like of the same base form, it doesn't really matter. I think it adds variety. Interesting variety. Bolton Knights are over here. We still haven't gotten any of their actual direct leaders yet. That's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to get their direct leaders. I'm trying to kill them. Mandalay Knights, where are they? Here's a little group. Let's go over here and kill these guys. Who else do we have? I think they're all leaving now. Let's go. Okay, you do not need to attack anymore. You did a great job, though. Thank you. I think you actually got a lot of kills. There's a Stark Knights. Go get him. Rob is moving in. Rob is destroying them. Some more Bolton Knights over there. Let's go get them. I have all my knights just reigning supreme. It feels cool too. It feels like how a battle would play out if they fled. That was a big fight. They were overtly aggressive. And they lost because of it. Here's some more longbowmen. I just want to kill as many as I can before the battle's over. We've got to end the plight of the Boltons. We lost 354. They lost 1,479. Ramsey didn't lose anything? Really? Most kills. Stark Bowman. 163 kills. Kill them. Kill them all, says the just King Joffrey. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Ransom. They said no. They are traitors. Rob has a lot of beheading to do. Now look at who's alone. Look at who's all alone. Little itty bitty army. We've got their two holds under attack right now. We're about to have another battle over here at Hammerhorn. Let's get ready for that fight. Oh, I forgot to go talk to... I mean, I own it now. Oh, that's a lot of money. Influx and ability. That would give me a lot of florins. Go talk to her real quick. Can I not get you to marry? I would love to have a peace treaty for now, though. I've taken one of your holds. That would be interesting. I want to see if I can make it work out. Another proposition. We're happy to listen. Definitely noble, sire. An honor and a She's now married. Farewell. 
to get old Rob. That's kind of cool. Hey. She's a tough chick. That's how we can placate them for now. And that is historically potentially correct as well. Cool. We have more Starks in the queue. <laughs> Just more Starks. We got more Starks. I could give them back their lands. I might actually do that. We now have strong allies. That's really cool that we use marriage to do that. That's so cool. I love that. And alliances in here actually mean something. They can actually help you out a lot. All right. I don't want your lands. Ironborn halberds as much as I want that. Let's move back to the front lines now. I want to go to the twins. I think I'm going to head back for a little bit. Have them retrain. Get ready. Brandon, you'll wait behind. I do want you to go take care of all the rebel armies. I'll have you retrain afterwards and go after the Boltons who are just kind of around. So that's really cool. We've already done that now. We've gotten a marriage happening. Imagine if I had the power of the freaking Ironborn Navy. Oh, oh boy. Who are you? I don't want that. Now if I can get Sansa married. Three daughters? You're kidding. Wow, that's a lot. There's Rickon. I'm not going to let you get shot in the back. That's why I'm taking out a Bolton early on. I, I can't trust that. Can't trust them at all. For the Highlands. Am I all right. For a simple proposal? Let's go down to the Reach and try to get some stuff going on down there. They're very rich and powerful. I don't want to fight them. I don't have to. If I can avoid fighting them, I will. I'm only here to fight the Who's over here? Suit. That's a large rebel army. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to go take care of that too. Hold on. I'm not going to let them just stay here and fight us. Yeah, we're going to just wait them out. I actually have time. Winter will not be coming, thankfully. I can only focus on the war here. So far, Bannerman, we've done well. How's Bolton? Ha! Ah. Nah. I don't want that. I just want your lands, and I'm going to dispense with them as I see fit. But as far as you being a part of us, no. <laughs> no more of that. Goodbye, Captain Harwood. Thank you, Howland. I'm going to train up Howland to go take out everyone. Relations improved. Did they already have a child? That was quick. I've got so many daughters. I need a few more sons. Am I not allowed to have sons? Maybe not. Thank you, John. Just cleaning up some rebel armies. Trying to get my lands clean. Don't like having rebels around here. Just go look at the nearby lands as we... Yeah, we're just building more and more farms right now. That's what we are doing. It's a shame, or it is a shame that there's no islands over here at Sisterton. I see Argonians. I'm kidding. There's no Argonians here. I do like the simplicity of this campaign map. I'll have to try out the other sub mods and other things that are out there eventually. But I like that we can actually just have a goal and see to it. It's not convoluted by just having enemies on every side. Daughter of Scotland. This is a Tyrell army. Tired of ordering your own forces. How shall I represent? What is it you wish to discuss? They don't want to do that? Darn. That would have been quite nice. Are they really mad at me? Maybe they are. I'm trustworthy. Good relations. They are allied to the Boltons, so I've got to take out the Boltons and then maybe it'll work out? I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's move you back. I'm going to have you go retrain at Winterfell. We've got a swordsmith's guild, so that's going to be nice to have. To get some guys destroyed. There's the Boltons again. So we're moving up. Four more turns for that one. Over here for Carhold, three more turns. Let's go ahead and get down to that. Brandon Stark, the Prince of Winterfell. Benefactor. No, I want no adopted children. If I have to, then I will, but so far I don't have to. 
By your will, sire, we shall engage. We're just building farms everywhere, making the lands plentiful. I don't really need to do too much other than just going to pass turns at the moment. Then we'll unify and get ready for the fray war. Aye, the fray's wanted to fight. Q stalled. Yeah, the Tyrells are so rich and powerful. We're finally going up in population, though, which is nice. Things are changing. A proud victory. Yeah, there's the Boltons. I'll need to go after them. Oh, thank you for just giving me lands. Look at that. That's over 800 Florins. Or dragons. Or stags. So now we have that location. Karstark Spearman, who can join me. Karstark Knights. I wonder if he'll just give up. He might just give up. Clear victory. We'll get them. Then we'll go after that rebel army. Yeah, you can have a really cool Total War for this, but they would have to focus on the campaign map so much more. I think a Crusader Kings 2 type of theme would be much better. Oh, no, no, no. We're not doing that. And he gave up. Good. Hey, I'm not mad about that. I've already beaten him. Outriders Guild. Wow. They'll travel around quickly and easily. Those houses are actually very useful. I'm now the largest faction. The Boltons are gone. The Boltons are no more. Now we get to prep up for a little while and just kind of retrain and get ready for future things. Goodbye, Tallheart. The Dread Fort. I wonder if I could just retrain here. I probably could. Let's go look at what we have here. Bolton, yeah, Bolton soldiers are here. Looks like Northern Swordsmen. Wait, what do you have that's different? Okay, so they have more armor. Gotcha. Bolton Spearmen. Interesting. One armor, seven defense. Bolton Cav is over here. So we finally got rid of them. That is now over. Again, I'm trying to get all my farming done. Could leave behind more guys like these pikemen. It leaves them behind. Let's get our armies out. You three can wait there. You're cheap and easy to. Maintain, so you'll wait there. I have a wall to Rob, come on. Alan, go destroy the rebels. Goodbye, Frey. Another rebel army gone. I'm keeping my lands clean if I can help it. Now I'm going to have Umber go up to Winterfell. We're just going to spend quite a few turns retraining. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get ready for the war down here, but that's okay. How can England help you? Demanding. Not as much of an issue. Would you like some money? It's good to see we could There we go. Well, that seemed fruitful. Now she's married Farewell. to the Tyrells. I like how she's not actually shown as being part of my family. Hold on. Yeah, my daughters aren't shown as being part of my family. Well, she's gone now, clearly, but... How's Tyrell? Tanton the heir? Sansa Crane. That's a little bit wrong. Alright, so the Starks and Tyrells are now allied. So, I've played the Game of Thrones now. I no longer have to fight the Ironborn. I no longer have to fight the Tyrells. I can focus on Joffrey and the Westerlands and the Freys. The Vel, I'm going to work on next for some type of alliance, and I think that'll work out nicely. We'll go kill more rebels who are around here, like that one Karstark. I'm going to bring down my diplomat. I want to thank all of you for watching. Do leave a like down below. Let me know what you think I should do. You are my bannermen. So, Bannerman, what should I do now? What do you think is being a wise choice? Where should we go? How should we fight? What diplomacy should we use? and intrigue as well. Leave a like down below if you would like to see more tomorrow, and as always, until then.